everyone. I thought I would do a day in the life and I thought, why not do a day in the life that starts the night before? So right now it is 1 a.m. <laughs> Wednesday, October 14th, the year 2020. And I actually thought of, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to do a day in the life for every year. So, and maybe even do a one year summary for my little vlog on this channel. So hello. And there's not anything to say or to do other than just to say hello. <laughs> and that's it. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yep. Bye. And also, this place is really, really haunted, and I hate sleeping here, but I don't have a choice, really. So, yeah, and I hope I'm still on camera, because I got the whole phone flipped around. So, anyway, yeah. Good night. Bye. Yeah, good night. Bye. So hello everyone, it's the next morning, and yeah, it's by now 7.40 something, so uh, I got to sleep at after 2, and then something, usually who knows what, wakes me up this time, I got woke up at about 6, 6.30, I'm up, and yeah, um, I do not make my bed. So if it'll focus, yeah, I do not make my bed. <laughs> I do get up and go to the bathroom and and I do have a little bit of water here, or maybe not a little. <laughs> and I do have a food journal, which I write and I start because the quacks, and I do mean quacks, didn't know what to tell me, and they said, well, keep a food journal. So I keep a food journal. So I don't make my bed, but I do start logging, you know, my food journal. And there's all the little smattering writings, so. Yeah, and uh, and I don't have coffee, and I can't have tea, because, uh, you know, kidney problems. And, um, yeah, that's the start of my day. So, I don't know, usually what I do is I get up and I immediately just get to work. I either do the dishes or I do the laundry or I just get straight to work on whatever I'm going to be doing that day. So, yeah, it's it's seven 7.40 right now and uh, I guess I'll be checking back in with you in... Who knows when? So, bye. Yeah, I hope the camera's focusing. <laughs> but it's uh it's 9 a.m. now on the same day. And just to give myself the idea, it's Thursday, October 15th, so 2020. And, uh, yeah, I better make this fast because people are waking up, but, oh my god. I do a bit of a time waster. I can't help it. I just, I do piddly little things that ne need to get done or should get done. And I was watching this one guy's videos and... I don't know what happened. I have no clue. But I'm on TikTok now. <laughs> yeah, I'm on TikTok now. Um, I don't know what happened. So I hope the camera can hear me. I hope it's focusing. I don't know if it is, but... Uh, I don't know whether to be a proud or ashamed of this. <laughs> but I'm on TikTok. And I'm posting all the little 
piddly time waster stuff that I've done, but I've, I've enjoyed doing it, you know, the art. So yeah, I'm posting all of my, my telephone art, my cell phone art that I've done on this one coloring app. I think it's called Happy Color or something. I don't know. But damn, I've done, I've done a ton of that within the past year. I couldn't help myself. Just every time I'm sitting down to, uh, well, I gotta go. Because <laughs> there's a phone. So, bye. Check in again. Or at least I'll try to. I just thought I'd let everyone know I'm having breakfast now. It's 9.30 and yep. And I made myself a bunch of pancakes the other day. So I'm grateful, you know. I'm kind of disgusted that I'm going to be eating pancakes for a week at least. Maybe even a week and a half, but there you go. I, I made pancakes from scratch. By the way, I, I found out how to do that. Basically, it's just two cups of flour, you know, let me put this away. Two cups of flour in the communal fridge. Um, and uh, <laughs> two cups of flour in the communal fridge. Uh, and then, you know, about one and a half cups of water, since I can't really have milk, or two cups of milk, you know. So I either do one and a half cups of water and a half a cup of milk or what have you. And then baking soda and whatnot. But most people don't realize that they can literally make pancakes from scratch. Oh, and I also, when it comes to heating up bread products, I learned this in home ec. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and um, actually wet down a paper towel like I have here. And just cover your bread product. And usually you don't want to microwave your bread product any longer than 30 to 45 seconds but uh, even if you do microwave it longer that can be okay depending upon the bread product especially buns and muffins but uh, I found that these oh what is it I found out these uh, pancakes go pretty well but yeah if you put them in for a minute and a half, I was kind of surprised about that, but anyway, so I'm going to be eating my breakfast now, so yeah. Yay. <sighs> yep. So I'll check in with you again. Bye. Well, since the TV is going to be on for the rest of the day, I'm probably going to have to do just voiceover for this, but yeah. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock now, and I'm finally starting my, uh, see, yep, can't read it. <laughs> can't read it at all. So it's about 10 o'clock. Let's see if I can see my watch here. There we go. Yep, it's 1041, and after hanging out on TikTok and watching too many cat videos, because I totally got sucked into that thing. I've never been on TikTok before. Wow, that, that thing is amazing. Like Twitter was back in the day. Um, oh my god, I hope you're not hearing my guts. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to pop up on camera. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to do voiceover for the rest of this video. So just letting you know, I'm starting my day now. Finally, after breakfast and everything. So there we go. Well, hello, um, I just took a shower, and here, let me just, let me turn the camera around. So, believe it or not, oh, this is kind of nice, I can actually see, I can see myself on the camera, thank God, for once, and what I'm looking like. So, I guess I do look better, like, they always say, tilt the camera up, you know, so, anyway, 
So it's still Thursday, it's still the same day, but have you ever had an experience where one thing leads to another and it's just like a what the what the crap happened shit show? Well, yeah, that just happened. And since a very copyrighted movie is playing very loudly in the background, I'm just going to take pictures of it and do a voiceover. So, but yeah, that's what just happened. And since this is a day in the life, I realized, oh crap, now I actually have to, like, document, you know, actually record what just happened. So, here you go. <laughs> uh, the visuals and the voiceover. So, yeah. Okay, so there's my laundry there, and there's my, the stuff on the counter, towels and whatnot, my jewelry that I gotta clean up. And I thought I would just record this a little bit to, uh, hi, hi everyone. There's me. <laughs> hi. So yeah, this is, I, I record this in October and it's now November 11th and I'm finally getting around to editing it and voice recording it, or at least doing the voice recording. So I've forgotten quite a bit of what happened. So if I'm not able to recall everything, please forgive me. And I think this shot is just beautiful. I really love these artsy fartsy shots like this. So, and I, right now I'm recording in a very echoey room with a blanket thrown over my head. So I hope that you don't hear anything, especially any background noise. Okay, so yeah, this little area right here, it was covered in some of the smelliest black mold right along the rug there and all along the uh, kitchen and in the kitchen. And this black mold, it was all varying sizes. It went from like a size of a dime down the size of just like a little droplet. And it was just absolutely covering. It was especially along the edges of the countertop there, the cabinets there and the rug. And I even ended up wiping up over there, but it was just covering the entire kitchen floor and especially all around the trash can. And it was even covering, and it was actually black, the color of it was black. And it was even covering the wood here uh, on the side of the counter, the side of the cabinets here. And it was covering the front of the cabinets here where the doors are and the handles are. And that was because that was from food particles that had splashed all over. And so I actually ended up having to take the very last of our COVID disinfectant rubbing alcohol, which is like 80%, you know, rubbing alcohol. It smelled absolutely horrible, but uh, I ended up having to use the last of that to actually wipe up all of this mold. I ended up having to get down on my hands and knees and scrub it off. And this trash can is actually the laundry trash can from the laundry room here, which is why that that's what I'm showing that it usually sits there in the laundry room like that. But because I end up having to scrub the kitchen trash can, and scrub the whole area around it, uh, I, you know, I'm now having to put the, the laundry room trash can right there. So, yeah. So it was, it was absolutely filthy and the, the smell was terrible. It smelled like rotting meat. It really, I mean, worse than rotting meat, like rotting meat with mold on it, obviously. And the kitchen trash can is, there we go. There's a shot of the tr kitchen trash can. It's outside, clearly, as you can see. There we go, zooming in on the kitchen trash can. Oh, what a lovely sight. So this is our back door and I'm gonna go outside and show you the uh, the trash can that I scrubbed up. So our back door is actually in the living room here. Carpet and everything. So, and this is our back porch. So what ended up happening was that I was, I just got up, you know, from working at my desktop, you know, my laptop there. And I, I was just walking by the trash can here, this trash can, and it smelled so bad, I, I stopped. I literally stopped dead and I was like, okay, I gotta fix this. So I took the trash out and see, there's a little crack in the bottom that's covered with duct tape. That's, you know, denim colored duct tape in the bottom of it. Cause apparently for some reason we had denim colored duct tape. And yeah, you can kind of see the crack on the bottom of it. I think that's how it leaked. Cause I guess the trash bag leaked and I don't know. It was, it was so bad. The whole thing smelled so bad and I've never seen mold like that before. And I've never seen mold that smelled like that before that smelled like, you know, actual like animal meat that was rotting and had, it smelled like moldy animal meat. And there was mold all over on the inside rim there of the lid. And yeah. And so I ended up having to 
even after I changed the trash, it smelled so bad. And I ended up finding mold all in the trash can there. And I ended up having to crawl into the trash can, just like I'm showing here, and scrub it out with bleach. I, I had just taken a shower. I had just put on a nice new clean bathrobe. And I ended up having to crawl into the trash can here, just like this, like I'm showing, with you know, with my bare hands, I didn't even expect to do this with a scrubber and bleach and scrub out. And there's a little spider on top of my nice clean trash can. But I ended up having to scrub out this awful, awful trash can and having to scrub the lid there. And that, that mold was all over that swinging lid and all over just the whole thing. And it was just, it was so unfair because no one else had and change the trash and so it it ended up you know I was the one to do it you know my parents are just not into keeping stuff clean my mom's a hoarder and my dad is his own version of one so yeah so I trained changed the trash and ended up finding mold all over the kitchen floor and all over on the inside of the trash can and thankfully it hasn't gotten moldy since then thankfully it has not gotten moldy since then so I guess that's the price I have to pay for actually having to live with these people. So yeah, obviously after that, I ended up having to take another shower and clean my, what had been perfectly clean clothes. And so here I am taking my laundry into the laundry room. So yeah, that's, that's the voiceover for this. And that's what happened. And I'm sorry about the echoing in the room. I, I tried throwing a blanket over myself to try to keep the echoing down, but obviously it didn't work. <laughs> this room always echoes. Hopefully it's better than it was before. And I'm so used to yelling because my dad is so deaf that uh, I hope I'm not blowing out the microphone again. And yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, so nothing worked out. And I am not even going to show my face on camera. So right after I had the whole, I have to clean actual like moldy bacon grease off myself that I just cleaned out of the trash can. By the way, the trash can is finally inside. And this is not where it goes, but I'm just going to let it finish drying out because the inside of it is still all wet. And it's not picking up all the little bits of debris and whatnot on camera, unfortunately, but... After bringing it in, it actually has debris on it. I'm not happy. So, little bits of dirt and everything. So, yeah, after I cleaned up the trash cans and took a shower, uh, my mom came home and I ended up having to wipe down all the groceries that she got. And I, I tell her, you know, don't go out. Don't get stuff. But she had a dental appointment. And next thing you know, she, she went to Walgreens and... Yeah, stuff happened. So after that, I was so worn out, I ended up collapsing in bed and waking up at 8 o'clock. And so now, yeah, <laughs> stuff just doesn't go well. Um, so I ended up sorting be before I ever fell asleep. I Thankfully, I did sort the laundry and I did get a load going. You know, or at least I managed to rinse it. Now it's finally washing. So, and I got the dishes going. And now I'm finally warming up some really, really, really sad dinner. And I mean really sad. And, um, yeah. And I kind of don't want to talk about the rest of everything. Because now there's presidential debates on. And I'm just grateful that it's muted for commercial and that. With these machines going, you can't really hear it out here at the moment, so... Oh dear God. Well, it's finally midnight, and technically it's October, Friday the 16th, at, you know, obviously. That clock says 12.26, my watch says 12.31. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't really talk into the little microphone on this. Um, Here, let me... So, 
Yeah, I've been drawing this little fairy lady. And I hope you like it. I've been just drawing her and drawing her and drawing her. I can't help myself. But uh, yeah, this is the conclusion, more or less, to my day. And and I'm glad that I got to draw her. I'm glad that I got to... This has taken me like... I don't know, a week to do this. You know, just doing, doing little bits of it here and there for two hours at a time. While I'm watching TV and getting distracted and everything but yeah drawing it in little bits and parts and pieces and I've been really enjoying myself I'm really really glad that I'm able to uh that I'm able to draw this and everything but unfortunately um I might as well turn it around I don't know how much the camera can see me versus hear me, but uh, yeah, so the wonderful cherry topper to the end of this awful day. Um, I'm coming down with a cold because <laughs> I, I don't have allergies. I never, ever, ever sneeze. I never sneeze and I've been sneezing up a storm and I've been feeling really run down and terrible the past three days. But yeah, at least I got some here, I'm going to turn it around again so I can talk right next to the microphone. At least I got some peace and some quiet here at the very end. I managed to draw. Which I'm very, very glad about. And I got to draw what I wanted to draw. I got to fix this up. And I'm also going to show it. This is just my sketchbook. This isn't anything I'm ever, you know... I don't think I can ever sell it. But... This is a picture that I got from the internet, and this is what, if the camera can actually really capture it, but this is what I got from the internet, and I traced it. So I traced this forever ago, and I was going to do one in acrylic, which, it, which was going to be this one, and I traced this picture twice. I traced it twice. So this one was going to be acrylic and the other one was going to be watercolor. And this, this picture, there was just things about it that bugged me so much and so bad. I decided to go ahead and change it. And I changed it from this into, you know, this, which is what I was showing here. Because there was just stuff about, you know, this tracing that was bugging me and I wanted to fix it. And I managed to fix it up into this. So I'm, I'm quite glad. It's almost like I took it from a drawing into like a 3D person kind of thing. And I didn't, the only reference that I used was this tracing. I didn't use any references or anything. So I know that the camera is capturing basically little black sketches for this one and just a white sheet of paper for this one. I'm sorry about that. I mean, the pencil is nice and light, but because I was going to paint it, but yeah. So at least I got this little bit of happiness and joy at the end of my day. I'm grateful for that. So that's it. Um, yeah, thank you for coming along with me on this little experiment. I did not expect for my day to go bad, but most of my days go pretty bad like that. So... Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Uh, remember, two prunes a day keeps the proctologist away. Uh, nanu nanu, live long and prosper. And remember, happiness and laughter save lives. And uh, yeah, that's it. And remember what Mr. Rogers said, it's you I like, it's every part of you. It's your soul, your heart, your core, your being, it's you. And if no one else loves you, I do. From me, Glasses Geek. And that's it for today. Sorry that it has to be chopped off so quickly here, but thank you for stopping by, and hopefully I'll be able to do another one of these eventually. Bye!